Uh, there are things that a normal, morally normal, even if a morally average or mediocre person would not, unprompted, do, for example, hold down their daughter at the age of six, tear off her underwear, and cut her genitalia with a sharp stone. They wouldn't do that if they didn't think God was telling them to do it, or the mullahs, or the, if it's a boy, the rabbis weren't telling them to do it. Um, the, one of the reasons why I have the lurid subtitle I do of my book, The Religion is a Poison, is that it makes ordinary moral people, uh, compels them, forces them, in some cases orders them, to do disgusting, wicked, unforgivable things. There's no expiation for the generations of misery and suffering that religion has inflicted in this way and continues to inflict, and I still haven't heard enough apology for it. Rabbi, you want to give Christopher, I've, I've got to call you down on refer, referring to circumcision as genital mutilation. My son cried more at his first haircut than he did at his bris. And statistically... You weren't doing it right then. <laughs> statistically, the, the only long-term effect that it seems to have on people is it increases their chances of winning a Nobel Prize. I can't, um, I can't find the... the um compulsory uh, mutilation of the genitals of children no subject for humor in that way, or flippancy in that way. Maimonides says very plainly that it's designed to repress uh, sexual pleasure, to deprive us, uh, a, ma a male child as far as possible of the opportunity of that. Uh, the full excision, um, uh, not just the snip or the, the, minor, the full mandatory, mandatory covenant is fantastically painful. Uh, leads to trauma, um, leads to the dulling of the sexual uh, relationship, and uh, can be in itself life-threatening at that moment. We have the records, I can show them to you, of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds in the United States of uh, boy babies who've died or, or had life-threatening infections as a result of this disgusting practice. That you, that a person as humane as yourself, can sit here and, be, and think of that as a fit subject for humor shows what I mean. Religion makes morally normal people say and do disgusting and wicked things. And you've just proved my point for me. Shame on you for saying what you just said. Shame on you for saying it about your own son. My God. Let's move on. Yes, let's. What next? Cutting the labia of little girls. At least Judaism doesn't do that. This is a question. What, what, if, what if a Muslim was to say to you just now, my little girl cried more at her first haircut than when I cut off her clitoris. What would you think of me if I was to say such a disgusting thing? Well... Remember, we are not talking about detail here. We're talking about whether religion makes people behave better or not. Let's and give I'm, the I rabbi a chance. I, I wanted to move on, but let's give the rabbi a chance to respond to Christ. what you said, because it got pretty personal here, so... Again, my experience in my own son, my own grandson, hundreds of congregants, has been that it's not nothing like what you're talking about and that for whatever reason that this has become an issue for you uh, I just think is, uh, is excessive. What do you mean by that? Oh. <laughs> what do you mean by that? That I'm more personally... There was an undertone of innuendo to this. Let's bring it on. No, there's no innuendo there. What I'm saying is sure. you know, I've lived through this personally and... You've inflicted uh, it is what you're saying. I mean, what? You've inflicted it, or officiated at it, is what you're saying, isn't it? Well, officiated, yes. Inflicted, no. Hmm. Uh, forget Maimonides. Maimonides has his hang-ups about that. I should that. forget Maimonides since when do you say that? Because on issues of sexuality, Maimonides has some very medieval ideas. Uh, I ran across the line in your book that Orthodox Jews have sex through a hole in a bedsheet. Do you know Orthodox Jews who told no, you no, they no, have no, sex no, that way? No, no, I say it is said of Orthodox Jews that they may do that. All right, gentlemen, I'm sorry it, to break this up. Th that's, a, that's a reformed Jewish uh, rumor about Orthodox We have a lot of questions from the audience, and I want to give others a chance. Gen uh, genital is mutilation is no joke. Genital mutilation is no joke. 